Meanwhile, the Arizona State Senate President Karen Fan is accusing the Maricopa County Board of Supervisors of reneging on their commitment to comply with subpoenas. In a letter written to the board, Fan accused the board of reneging on their commitment to fully comply with the legislative subpoenas that were issued on January 13th of this year, which Judge Thomason ruled were enforceable. The letter states, in addition to refusing to provide passwords, the board has refused to produce virtual images of the routers used in the presidential election. Fan offers the board an alternative, saying that if they are concerned about security issues, an experienced digital forensics firm and cyber ninjas will review the virtual images of the routers in Maricopa County facilities and in front of representatives of the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office. This way, Maricopa County can retain custody and monitor the review of router data while ensuring that the Senate can access the information it requires and to to which it is constitutionally entitled, she wrote, to successfully complete its audit. In the letter, Fan also accuses the Maricopa County Board of Supervisors of performing incomplete audits because she said if they do not have possession of passwords, there is no way they could have inspected the tabulation machines completely. Fan is hoping for a response from the board on May 18th during a live streamed meeting.